A Swiss church built AI Jesus, and I think they built it incorrectly. We're going to talk about it. So we're familiar with the idea of AI as companions. That's one of the hottest themes in 2024. Some of the fastest growing consumer startups in AI are around the idea of companionship. Spirituality is a new one. Uh, and this church used a HeyGen avatar. They hooked it up to chat GPT 4.0, and they had Whisper as the voice mode. That's fine as far as it goes. Certainly the people who used it enjoyed it. Uh, two thirds of people who used it. So about a thousand people used it. 250 people responded to the survey afterward for the art project. And two thirds of that 250 or so said this was meaningful. This was a spiritual experience and they enjoyed it. So it got positive feedback, but I think they built it wrong. And the reason I think they built it wrong is the same reason why Air Canada went off the rails with their bereaved customer about a year or two ago. Basically, Air Canada had no tool chain safeguards in place to prevent the AI from hallucinating. And so the AI hallucinated a response to a bereaved customer, made up a bereavement policy that wasn't there. And ultimately there was a court case and Air Canada was found liable for it. In the same way, if you are building a spiritual authority figure out of AI, you probably want it to adhere to the foundational texts of your faith, which suggests to me that the correct way to build AI Jesus would have been a rag model, a retrieval augmented generation model. Maybe they could have used uh, some of the guardrail system that AWS used. Now, I'm not saying that the people who built this were going to deploy this on AWS widely. It seems like it was a much more localized experiment, so maybe that's overbuilding. But to me, at least you want to hook it to a rag system and like stick the Bible in the rag or something. Because otherwise, it would be entirely plausible since ChatGPT 4.0 has pretty much the entirety of spiritual writings of mankind at its disposal to chat with AI Jesus in a church about Buddhist texts, about uh, Hindu texts, anything at all. And I'm not sure that's really what the church intended. So if you're going to create a spiritual authority figure, you probably ought to use the correct tool chain to do so.